He's going to make mistakes. You can draw him into him. Don't you get caught reaching. Jab at his chest. Okay, nice deep breath. Okay, look. Take a deep breath. You know what? I want the man Fredo. But it's got to be good one, okay? It's got to be a good one. Well, you talked about his left hand, Ron. That was the punch that he was felt he could land. It would be his money punch, and it certainly was right there. And I don't really think he went down, actually. Well, you could you could possibly argue that the ropes kept him up, but I'm not sure what to call that. And the ropes did keep him up, actually, since he had to grab him. More, more looks, uh, and understandably so, discouraged even in the corner you know, they're giving him instruction he's looking away and he's looking down uh, the fact of the matter is whatever they're telling him he doesn't have any answers and he knows he doesn't have any answers and that ring becomes a very small place when you don't have answers and the other guy's asking a lot of chin questions <laughs> There's the jab again. That jab just absolutely a thing of beauty. Yeah, it almost looks like the Vernon Force before all those shoulder operations that, that really took a toll on his career. I, I don't think it's going to take much here for Mora to go. Well, he's taken a lot of uh, punishment. There was a wild left hand. We talk about the jab of Vernon Forrest, and you can see how effective it's been, more than twice as effective as, as Moore's. And he's throwing 60 more. Big left hand. Forrest looks like he's looking for the left hand now. Vern just looked down at us and winked. He's, that's a competent fighter. just walking Mora down now. Mora with his back to the ropes once again. And Vernon's made a 20-foot ring a very small place. Big right hand once again from Forrest. Left Mora's in a lot of trouble now. He's in a lot of trouble. All they can do is grab. I don't really think it'll take a lot to get him out of here. Still plenty of time remaining here in round eight. This round just seems content to kind of keep it neutral. Well, we may be taking the round off and winning the round at the same time. Exactly. See, Moore is going to lunge in one, one of those where he bends down, halfway down, and lunges forward with his head out of his hands, and he's going to get cracked. It looks to me like Forrest is just waiting for the right moment. Because he's almost defenseless when he comes in. Like yeah, and that jab is just, it knocks it backward now. Jab caught him right as Moore was coming in. Yeah. Forrest up on his toes now. Good left hand right there for Forrest. Just missed with the uppercut. Moore charges at him, and Forrest just ties him up. around and catch him with the right hand. Turn him around and throw the right hand straight. And keep your other hand under your jaw, right? Please, double, two fast jabs on the right hand. Okay? Don't let this get away from us, man. This is something legends are making. Hey, this is what we're Jab going on, okay? All right? And let's, don't let him steal. Let's play to the crowd afterwards. Let's handle our business right now. Let's go get that championship back, baby. Get the mouthpiece. The up jab. The up jab is working fine. Okay, you catch him that stiff one. Okay, you're doing fine, champ. When you get close, underneath. Double it up. So Mora has that look like a guy that's awaiting something he knows is going to come and he can do nothing about. <laughs> Round nine. And he ate a jab almost instantly. 
it's not really the way you want to start things off. Double jab again by Forrest, but just kind of showing it to Mora. being very patient here. It wasn't the last round. It is in this round as well. And McGirt is cautioning him. You know, don't play the crowd. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, he said just win the title. Which, barring the absolutely unforeseen. Well, he wants to win in spectacular fashion. He certainly has won in dominating fashion. But he would like to close the show. Good right hand from Moore. His best punch of the fuck miss with that right hand. That hurt Byrne a little more than uh, than he's letting up. That was a huge shot by Moore. And there's where the absence of power takes a toll. It's an equalizer type of punch if you have great power, but he doesn't. But still no sense of urgency in Vernon Forrest. Well, there was an uppercut. That was a good one. And a right hand behind him. Now a left that drives him into the ropes. And again, Mora is a little shaky. And a big right hand again over the top by Forrest. And the eye starts to bleed once more. Great body shot by Forrest. The wheels are coming off for more. You can see he's getting tired. His mouth's hanging open now. And Vernon trying to tee off. Uh, missed oh, his foot. Badly. <laughs> he didn't miss that time. No, he did. Jab in the right hand. And now Moore really oh, again big about to go. An uppercut gets there with a right hand. A right hand misses by Forrest. Moore is just trying to hang on at the bell. Sergio Moore may not win this fight, but Sergio Moore is a man. M A N. You gave that round away. Look at him. Yes. You were doing great until you got him with that big right hand. Take a deep breath. Sergio. You let him rest on the inside. He wasn't doing nothing. We need another right hand out of you. It needs to hit him on the jaw. All right? I need you to. But don't walk in without jab because he's trying to walk into that right hand. He's getting desperate. Listen, you got to use the jab when you're going in and leave the head alone. You got to dig three or four shots downstairs, and then when he come up, then you... Well, let's take a look at the end of the round, and Forrest almost had him here. Right, and he, he rallied back from, from being landed, hit with that one right hand by Moore, and he quickly knew he was going to make a statement to let him know it's not going to be like that. And Moore's reeling around. Moore's tired, I think, than actually hurt. Tired from, the, tired from the punishment that he's been taken for nine rounds. Laura comes out firing here. Might as well. Well, I told Vernon Forrest, whatever you do, do it behind the jab. There's nothing of not game, but I don't know that that wins fights. It doesn't, but sometimes if that's all you've got, it's good that you've got that. Yeah, at least you did it. There's that jab, and again, it's a very, very good jab when he throws it. Through nine rounds, you can see Forrest has thrown 162 more punches and landed 100 more punches. That's the story of this fight. The complete opposite of the uh, of the last fight. 
You're right, the absolute opposite of the first time they hooked up. By this point in the first fight, Vernon was barely moving his hands. He, he was doing less than, than uh, far less, in fact, than, than Moore is trying to do. Well, the crowd kind of getting a wake-up call here for one of the first times tonight. Moore trying to do business, but the old pro is just not letting him. Oh, you smother him on the inside. And I think getting caught with that one right hand was a little reminder that Vernon that yeah, we're in here it. with a professional fighter. Which doesn't mean he can't do his work and he can't uh, look spectacular doing it. Low blow. Forrest not doing a whole lot in this round either. Well, he looks a little tired himself. He's throwing a lot of punches in this fight. And there's a lot of that grappling and holding and rolling around, and that over time really tires you out. Body shot by Forrest. Reaching right hand, and a left hand got in by Moore. And that right hand just missed, and so did that one. Right there is where Moore becomes hard to fight. He's dipping his head down by your kneecaps. Unless you're going to throw an uppercut, you, there's no way to hit it. Well, another one of those fights, not a rounds rather, not a lot of action in that round, much like the first round. But the bottom line is Forrest has absolutely dominated this fight. The feints are freezing him, okay? All right, well, you got to feint him and punch off the feint. That's a bad one. Okay? This round, I want you to back him up. Good, you're doing good. I want you to back him up with double jab, okay? When you now get going into those, hey, those championship the rounds. Right here and it up. Sergio, you hit him with the right hand when you want. Turn your legs around with double jab right hand. Right? Throw it nice and smooth to turn your wrist. Clean, baby. Throw that punch. Here's, well, here's the right hand again. In the close, you know, he gets so close that, that Moore can't throw anything, and he gets just enough space for him to throw and then smother him. So he throws from a, from a safe position. 